Good morning, everybody. Welcome to Tuesday, November 27, 2018. I got a special video for you that I made in my cardio session. I threw up on Instagram Live, but I, I, there's so much value within just this freestyle or this share that I'm making a video post out of it because I really hope that you walk away from from this video and understanding that we all have a decision and it all starts with making that decision. You know, it's it's our right. Every single morning we wake up and we have a decision to choose either or, either to stay stagnant, stay patient and wait for things to happen or actually take action and make the things happen and take accountability, use the resources we have. And so I wanted to share this video, but more importantly, I want to share a special announcement to anyone who resides in, in Southern California, especially near Orange County. On December 8th of this year, 2018, just a couple weeks, it's a Saturday. I'm going to be hosting an event that's sponsored by a very well-known lender in Orange County. And Orange County is the mecca. Of, of mortgage companies, right? It's where majority of corporate locations are located and there's just so many different loan officers within the area. So chances are you either reside in Orange County or you reside close to Orange County. And this is my shout out to you and invitation to actually come and meet me in person. I'm gonna be doing a two hour event that this course is gonna cover, you know, everything from marketing, mindset, prospecting, selling, and all the fundamentals to enable you to walk away from this free event with tools to help you increase your income, increase your your wealth, increase your ability to close, to generate new leads. You're going to walk away from this event so empowered that it's really going to make a difference for you for the remainder of this year and going into 2019. So this is my invitation to you. Mark your calendars, but more importantly, RSVP your own seat. Make sure it's safe it's saved for you because the, the seats are limited. There's only 100 seats within this auditorium. And to ensure that your seat is saved, and maybe even if you wanna bring a, a, a colleague of yours or another loan officer, if you wanna bring your entire team, be quick to RSVP your seat. The location is in is in Irvine, California. It's right off the 5 Freeway in Jamboree. And this, uh, this event is, again, completely free, but you have to RSVP your seat. You're gonna get a chance to meet me and also, um, you know, learn and, 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 and actually break bread with me, right? Like you're gonna be able to be um, uh, in an event and part of an event that's going to spark a movement. And this event is very special to me because this is one of my very first seminars per se. And I, I'm gonna bring it. I'm gonna bring the fire that that's really has not been shared. You know, the reason why I'm not putting up as much content is because I'm studying and putting together some of the most powerful information and secrets that I know, right, that, that I could share with an audience to make a direct impact. So if you, if you want to understand why that, why hard work in itself is not the only way for success, right? You can work really hard, but it doesn't mean you're going to be wealthy. It doesn't mean you're going to succeed. But when you combine hard work with the right information, together that's working smart and that is the way we need to work today so again this is my invitation to you on december 8th 2018 from 10 a.m to 12 p.m pacific standard time i'm going to be in irvine california hosting an event the seats are limited so if you want more information you have any questions or if uh if you want to rsvp your seat to make sure that you have your seat accounted for and you lock in your 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 ticket to enter into this event then you can email me help at salesremastered.com and I'll send you all the details. But for now, enjoy this video. You know, as I say here on the cardio machine, uh, it's right about 6.30 in the morning where I am and I'm going through my morning routine, my morning ritual. And during this time, I try and find different ways that I can improve. I can improve become, in becoming the better version of myself. And today's mental session, as I'm shuffling through the many options that I have to make a decision on in focusing my time in, I, uh, I recall uh, an argument that I actually had, not necessarily an argument, but a comment that I had with my wife just the other day. And it had to do with our children, how we were communicating a specific message. You see, the funny thing is, is that children, 
unlike us, they, have, they don't have as many years of experience. They're not exactly up to par with what you are already aware of, right? They're, they're just not aware of certain things. And anyway, long story short is that my wife heard me and my son started going into the, you know, the idea of like, hey, what I want for Christmas, what I want for Christmas, what I want is this and what I want is that. And there's some sort of kind of almost expectation. And of course, I, I bit back and I'm like, hey, man, you're, you're saying these things like their demands are not requests and something that you have to earn. And my wife was, you know what, babe, choose your battles. And that's ultimately what she said to me because she saw that I was starting to get worked up about it and I could have gone on for days and days. And for those of you who don't know, you know, my son will be turning 11, so he's still young, right? So I could have went on and on about the idea of wanting to earn things as opposed to expect it. Anyway, that quote that she gave me, which is choose your battles, resonated with me because that later that night, I was asked a question and saying, hey Daniel, I'm seeing a lot of the reviews and a lot of the comments on your Facebook, even your LinkedIn, and they tell me that, or they're saying that your sales techniques that you give out for free have helped them so much. Since you sell a course, since you, you know, provide this training and mentoring at a cost, why is it that you give information for free? And so I thought about that. And then I also heard my wife's voice in my head saying, choose your battles. And I finally really absorbed what that statement or what that quote means. Ultimately, what it means is that every single day we will face challenges. We will face these battles per se. And it is up to us on which challenges or battles we focus our time in, in trying to beat down or overcome or execute with, right? You see, every single day we have this right to make a decision of which direction we go. Either direction we decide to go in, certain that we will face some sort of challenge, whether big or small. And the only way to properly and successfully win that day is only if you choose your battles. If you went on your day blindly, went down one specific path, did not choose your battles, you are succumbing to whatever is ahead of you, as opposed to work looking for alternatives and ways around that challenge. Are you getting it? Does that make sense? So when I was asked this question, hey Daniel, you know, I'm seeing a lot of reviews. Some of the reviews say, you know, some of the students invested into your course and now they're winning and they're making so much money. And then I saw other reviews of people who just watched the free content and they're also winning. Why is it, D? that you decide to give out so much free information and then also sell a course. Isn't it the same information on the course? And the answer is, to some degree, a lot of the principles are within the course, but it's more in depth. And so when you catch me, like on the YouTube or the Facebook channel or these lives, what you what sometimes you don't realize is those are freestyle sessions. Those are just topics off the mind. And so if you look at the reviews and you realize, wow, people are winning at making more money just by hearing your thoughts. Imagine what the return is if you actually invested into the course and saw my thoughts in a planned, uh, compact order. So it's direct, it's more in depth, more in tail. And I'm not here to sell you a course. What I am here to do is tell you that today, regardless of how you wake up, whether you got a good day to look forward to, whether you got some challenges to look forward to, at the end of the day, you have a choice to make a decision. You see, decision making is what separates the stagnant versus the movers. You ever hear that term? Like, man, in this world, there are movers and shakers, movers and shakers. Well, what separates the two is basically the ability to decide, to make a decision. I believe the lack of decision making in itself is a decision. And what I hope to leave you with in this video, in this share, is 
is you are aware that you have a choice every single day to choose your battles. Now, going back to the question of like, you know, D, why do you give out so much content and information for free? Is because with my, with my goal of creating a brand and gathering attention, for those of you who are in sales or in marketing, you understand this. In order to capture attention, to build a community, to build a brand, you need to uh, provide value, right? You need to provide information that hooks interest and brings them to where you're centrally located. So for example, in this Instagram, the reason why I'm even on your live feed is because at some point I provided enough value or a meme or a video or a quote or a training session not even on this platform maybe, where you may have saw my tag on a YouTube video and said, oh, I'm on IG. And so now we're connected on two different platforms. You see, however we found each other, the root of our relationship or our connection was because there was some sort of value that you got. And if we just understand that science <laughs> of it all, I think we can use that in whatever battle or challenge we choose. Because when we make this decision of what battle or challenge we choose, we are going to have two choices. One, there's gonna be a challenge. Both are gonna be challenges, but one's gonna be a challenge with lesser resistance. And then second, there's gonna be a challenge with more resistance. You see, I was asked another question just the other day about, what, why is your sales pitch a secret formula? Why does it work so well? And you're gonna be even more amazed that I'm gonna give you some of the secret right now just because you've been on this live video for so long. And here's the reason why it works is because it works with any product or service. It works with any fee, any market, any, any industry. The reason why it works is because it's a scientific formula. It's a recipe if you will. And you'll understand that there's only so many ways to make a specific dish, but there's only one solid recipe on how to make that dish. Does that make sense? And so I had a choice when I rolled out this brand or created this brand. I could have just went very wide, vague in general and said sales remastered as in anyone in sales. Or I could have started hyper-focused and went very ultra-niched and said, hey, mortgage loan officers. Because even though this technique is proven to work with any service product or price or rate or market or industry, instead of spreading myself thin and choosing the battle with more resistance, I went down a path with lesser resistance, meaning the wording, the video, the content you see every day on my channel is something I'm already doing. I already lead the number one team on a national size, multi-billion dollar lending group. I already provide mentoring, coaching, and training to each of my team members. I already am practicing a morning ritual where I show gratitude and I share and I give more than I expect to take within that morning ritual. And so what you have found in those 500 plus videos that I have on my channel that you see a lot of the comments of people so grateful for is something that was basically a battle that was a challenge that was already chosen. It was a challenge that had lesser resistance while at the same time worked for me in tenfold. It's enabled me to produce a, an amazing audience which a lot of the community members do support the channel and are now changing their lives for the better and thus it's rippling through their environment. It's giving other people in their work environment or their office or their family an example that it is possible to win. It is possible to do it and get through certain challenges that we believe we all face. Lastly, the answer is to why my sales pitch is very powerful, why it works in a nutshell, and I'll let you go so you could have a beautiful, amazing day is because when I start my sales pitch, I start with the end in mind. I begin with the end in mind. If you just jot down these few notes, I guarantee you you'll increase your sales. 
begin with the end in mind. So what does that mean? When you begin with the end in mind, you know at the end you're going to expect something, ask for something, whether it's a sale, whether it's a stip package, condition package. You can ask for a credit card number. You can ask for commitment, a lock, whatever it is, right? You begin with that in mind. And what happens is when you understand what it is you're gonna ask for and you work backward, some people call it reverse engineering, you're gonna start with first understanding what action you want your, your prospect to take. And you're going to begin with thinking of what resistance you're going to meet. And so depending on what product, service, or fee you're selling, the resistance can be anywhere from, oh, I don't have money right now. Oh, I'm not in the market right now. Oh, I need to talk to my wife right now. Or whatever it is, right? And you find those answers out through repetition because you already understand and been through the process so many times. But when you begin with the end in mind and you understand and identify those objections or those barriers or those challenges, you might call them objections, you can then format your message in a way that addresses each and every single one of those objections. So now your sales pitch has become so sufficient that it is just a straight delivery with no resistance, be all because you started and began with the end in mind. Make sense? So if you wanna learn more about this method, I do share some of the information at my website, go to salesremaster.com, and you're gonna see the three products that I have. One of the products called uh, Secret Formula to Six Figures, the Banker's Formula to Six Figures. And there's gonna be a button that says more info. I give you a free sample of the content that's within. Take a gander at that, or feel free to follow the free content as people, obviously, as you'll see on the reviews, are already winning with the free content. But what I've learned is that when you invest whatever it is for payment, whether it's time, blood, sweat, tears, or money, to obtain a result, you are likelier to stay committed to get that result as opposed to get something for free. And so one analogy, and I'll let you go, <clears throat> is that as we go into the new year or as we come out of this holiday part of the year, a lot of us are gonna commit to losing weight or getting back in track, right? Our health comes first. And there's gonna be something that stops us from achieving this or what makes us believe we can achieve it. Whether it's because, oh, I don't have time for the gym or, oh, I don't have a gym membership or, oh, I don't, I don't own any weights. I don't, I don't own a gym at the house or my gym at my place sucks. There's gonna be something that we believe is in our way to achieve that end result. And I wanna remind you that I'm certain in, within your vicinity, there's a park. <laughs> it's free, isn't it? So the choice is, well, why wouldn't you use the park? Why wouldn't you just go to the park? You don't need to buy a membership. It's free. And I think the answer is very similar to as to why you would prefer to drive rather than walk. When you consider driving or walking to a specific destination, you more than likely would choose to drive because you are in more control. You are in control of, of how fast you get there. You're in control of what route you take rather than walking because you know walking is going to take a minute. Your feet's going to hurt, probably mess up your clothes. And at the end of the day, it's just going to take more time. You see, I believe that you invest and make the decision each and every day to choose your battle. And one of the common decisions you make is driving versus walking. Pay attention to the decisions you make. All I'm doing is showing you how to use my course as a vehicle to drive rather than walk to the destination you prefer. Make sense? You getting it? <laughs> All right, everybody. Thank you very much for your time. I appreciate you sharing your morning with me, and I'll see you guys on the next video. Bye. Ooh, I'm high off the power. Ooh, she gone.